Hello, my great and wonderful people. We welcome you all once again to our today's episode of this program. Now, we, the Nation Voice, the voice where they reveal the secret things when they visit the government and the politicians that they say they cover. And uh, on our today's program, before we start properly, I just want to use this moment to say uh, a happy Good Friday to our brothers and sisters, most especially the Christian all over the world. May the Lord strengthen you in this very trying time in Jesus' name. Amen. And on our today's program, we just get this video when BC One try to quickly review to Una. And in case today not the first time when BC you did hear about us on the channel, be this we say you are highly welcome. I beg, do us a favor. You see that subscribe button, press some. And the small bell when they near on, press some as well so that anytime we take upload a video again, you know what they suffer to look for. And it will only come to you like a message. Our prayer always be said. They say we want to be say they support us on the channel. Now they say we want God with the same people. When will they support you for everything when you go, when you put your hands to do? In Jesus' name. Amen. I know we really like to waste your time. I will leave you now and say, if you watch this video finish, I beg, make you not forget to help out share this message so that you still reach our brothers and sisters all over the world as well. Leave your comment for us for the comment session. As I leave you now, say, make you enjoy the rest of the video. Hello and welcome. There are too many stories regarding this coronavirus and one is lost as to which story uh, is believable. But the truth still remains that there is a pandemic in our, on our hands. But I'm particular with the way Nigeria is handling the pandemic. So far, I must say it's terrible. It's terrible. Uh, we are hearing the Office of the Accountant General burning. We are hearing that they are smuggling or sneaking China products into Nigeria. I saw the video and I was, I was taken aback, even though I wasn't exactly surprised. The truth is that why is China suddenly interested in helping Nigeria in this pandemic? It's not as serious as it is in China. And then we have tons of Chinese equipment to combat COVID-19, or is it COVID-19 or COVID-19 in Nigeria? I saw the video and I also saw Chinese doctors in Nigeria as well. So it baffles me why we have them suddenly in Nigeria. And then going by the one world order that seeks to depopulate the world, particularly Africa, one cannot dismiss, one cannot dismiss so easily that this could not be a depopulation agenda. Now here is where my fear is. What is exactly the science behind a face mask? that other countries can't produce except China supplies them. Now, let us quickly take care of the, um, of the face mask. There's no big deal about face masks. Face mask. The science behind face, masks, face mask is this. The kind of fabric used to make face mask allows you to breathe the flow of breath to go through one way. If you, are, if you are not infected, you put the side that allows air to flow freely through the fabric. If you are infected, you put the part that allows air to come from outside, inside. That way, whatever you have cannot come out from the face mask to affect others. That is the simple logic behind face mask, face mask to prevent you from breathing airborne particles into your nostril. Simple. There is no, there is no rocket science behind this. Now, the, the, the science there is in the fabric. The science there is in the fabric. So if there is a particular fabric that can be found only in China, then we should be armed with the science behind the face mask. So I came up with this. Please don't say I am not a scientist. How did I come up with this? How did I come up with that? It doesn't matter. You don't need to be a scientist. You just need to be a good thinker. Understand 
the logic and science behind a, 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 an invention, then you can create your own. So what I have there is a simple handkerchief. It's a simple handkerchief. It's a simple handkerchief. Now, this is not what will protect you from the coronavirus. This is what will protect you. A simple tissue paper cut in this, with this size. Simply, simply dip this tissue paper into oil. Say olive oil, any oil. But I prefer olive oil because uh, you may not be irritated by the smell. Or if you have vegetable oil, just simple. Just put that. Don't soak it to become too wet. Soak it in such a way that even your ordinary pomade in the house, you can, you can put it inside and make sure that uh, the tissue paper is soaked. Fold your handkerchief into a triangular uh, side, uh, triangular. Fold your handkerchief triangularly. There's a word like that, like this. Ensure you put your soaked uh, tissue paper in between, in between the uh, your triangular. Uh, handkerchief when you have that ensure that the area where you have the soaked uh, tissue part is one that covers your nose and there you have your mask your, there you, just ensure that now the, the science behind this is simple the tissue the soaked tissue paper simple if you had breathed if you breathe in particles from the air the soaked tissue paper traps traps whatever you have and cannot go through the tissue paper to your nostril. And when you are done with it, simply take whatever you have inside the handkerchief and burn it or throw it in a waste paper basket. You can wash this and use this as many times as you wash this with simple soap and use it as many times as you, as you deem fit. So the idea that Nigeria is waiting for China to bring face masks and making it look like a big deal, it, it's annoying because it shows that 200 million Nigerians can't even think behind a simple science and logic that is behind face masks. And that is it. Then let's talk about the vaccine. I understand other than the face masks, the, vac the vaccines too are in Nigeria. So I am very scared because um, if I know correctly, in the north, the north is one area where they reject vaccine. In fact, they don't want to hear vaccine. Right from time, they brought polio vaccine uh, and uh, other type of vaccine. They not always believe it is a ploy by the West to depopulate Islam. So why is it today now that China is bringing vaccine to, uh, to fight uh, coronavirus where it is not that prevalent? Why is the North suddenly not kicking against vaccine this time around? Or if it is from America, it is to depopulate Islam. If it is from China, it is not to depopulate anybody. The, the conspiracy behind this whole uh, uh, coronavirus pandemic is, uh, is mind-boggling. Because I'm yet to see a single video showing China inoculating their citizens with the said vaccine that they want to sell to the world. Show me one video where you see China inoculating uh, its citizen. Don't forget, China is 1.3 or 1. Point, I think a billion plus in population, and China is populating above what its space can carry. So the only way they can save themselves is to become superpower, world superpower. And they can only be world superpower by knocking USA out. And that is exactly what is going on. Whatever contractual agreement that Nigeria and China has, has made them not to be in a position, in a position to reject what China is offering Nigeria. And that is why uh, they are bringing this thing into Nigeria. For your sake, the vaccines are in Nigeria. The face masks are in Nigeria. This whole idea of us sitting at home, we don't know whether to get to the point whereby we'll be forced to accept it or we'll be forced to be inoculated with this vaccine. Now, in case you don't know what we call nanotechnology, 
nanotechnology is a technology that brings invention gadgets into the size of a micro chip or a micro micro cell nanotechnology can we can create a chip that is, is the size of a virus or the size of a bacteria so you can see it's, it's, it's there in your body and your body heat is the one that recharges that cell and it's and it is able to transmit from your body to another reason i know somebody will say ah you, i beg you, you don't leave this part talk about politics for us we read a lot we don't just go through whatsapp and facebook chats and all of that we we use google we google everything google machine is bigger than the than the biggest library of a lawyer if in fact a google machine on your phone is bigger than the biggest library in the world anything you want to see you see it on your google so people like us we research and we use common sense like the case of the face mask you there's no rocket science behind it it's just a simple fabric that prevents that allows you to breathe one direction. When you breathe out, nothing comes in. Or when you breathe in, nothing goes out. It's simple. So why not think in the interim, what inventions can we make? I know Nigerians are very intelligent, particularly those from the South. We are intelligent. And we can always come up with something. You don't have to be a science to be using your brain. You don't have to be using your phone only to chat on WhatsApp or Facebook. So that, 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 that's, that's it. So to, to wrap up this video, I seriously urge Nigerians not to accept any vaccine coming from China. We don't have, they say we, we, we have only five people dead. It's not, it's not as if we are running helter skelter trying to chase, a, a, I'm yet to see a video showing those who are actually infected with the virus. And besides, those they say are infected with virus, who tested them? Who tested them? You know, what was the gadget? Because I know the gadget used for testing this corona is very expensive. And I'm made to know that it's only the rich that have been testing themselves. In fact, one person uses up to six gadgets to confirm a case that is positive to be negative. So it, it's funny. Nigeria is actually a crazy place. So uh, even this sitting at home, I am beginning to suspect the whole idea. But if indeed there's a virus out there, then we should... We should sit at home because if you have a slight cough now and you start you start becoming afraid that perhaps you have the virus and if you go to the hospital because of the quack nature and the lack of preparedness of our hospitals they could just pick somebody who is experiencing a mild cough to go and lump with somebody who has the actual coronavirus and you see people with a mild cough submitting themselves only to be actually contract uh, to contract only to act only to actually contract the coronavirus so it's a crazy situation in fact trying to wrap your brain around what is going on here could be sometimes mind disturbing so i just want to say um the nigerian administration may just want to use this and if actual if actually there's a plan to depopulate they might use that to say, okay let us depopulate the Arnes in the south so that uh, they can create room for us. So um, we, are, we are well and we are well and for the uh, Minister for Humanitarian Affairs, Affairs that you are sharing money to only people in the north believing that they are the only ones that are poor we in the south we don't have poor and by the grace of God let it remain like that that we southerners will always be rich we can never be poor depending on stipends but I want to tell you that the same God we serve will take us through this corona pandemic. We thought that at this time, there will be no, at this time of the corona pandemic, there will be no APC, there will be no PDP, there will be no Christian, there will be no Muslim. But it's so saddening that the people in power have decided to play politics even into this pandemic, which clearly shows how inhuman the government is today. I believe that. If you are going to take palliative measures, it should spread across borders, irrespective of, polit irrespective of political affiliation, irrespective of religious affiliation, irrespective of ethnic or tribal <coughs> affiliation. But here we are, it is still politics, politics, politics. So we believe the God we serve will take us away from this. Remember, this is Magnus Oraka, and I'm urging Nigerians to stay safe.